Lockheed AC-130 gunship. Commonly known as the last AC-130 gunship shot down in combat, Spirit 03 is a story of heroes, harrowing combat, and sacrifice. According to the Air Force Special Operations Command History Office, the Iraqi army planned to invade Kafji, Saudi Arabia, at the end of January, 1991, during Operation Desert Storm. Why won't the AC-130 fly in daylight? As Air Force rules prohibited AC-130 aircraft from remaining in hostile airspace in daylight after the crash of an AC-130 during the Battle of Kofji in the Gulf War, the AC-130 support protecting Mako-30 was forced to leave before Razor-01 reached the LZ. The AC-130U was armed with a 25mm Gatling gun, capable of firing 1,800 rounds per minute, a single-barrel, rapid-fire 40mm Bofors cannon, and a 105mm howitzer. The AC-130U replaced the 220mm cannon used on the AC-130H with one trainable 25mm cannon while retaining the other weapons. The type was adopted by the US Air Force USAF, in 1968. It replaced the previous Douglas AC-47 Spooky gunship. A total of 47 of AC-130 gunships, including variants, were converted from C-130 transports. In 2018 the type will be operational for 50 years. The Lockheed AC-130 gunship is a heavily armed, long-endurance, ground-attack variant of the C-130 Hercules transport, fixed-wing aircraft. It carries a wide array of ground-attack weapons that are integrated with sophisticated sensors, navigation, and fire control systems. Unlike other modern military fixed-wing aircraft, the AC-130 relies on visual targeting. Because its large profile and low operating altitudes around 7,000 feet 2, meters make it an easy target, its close air support missions are usually flown at night. The airframe is manufactured by Lockheed Martin, while Boeing is responsible for the conversion into a gunship and for aircraft support. Developed during the Vietnam War as Project Gunship 2, the AC-130 replaced the Douglas AC-47 Spooky, or Gunship I. The sole operator is the United States Air Force, which uses the AC-130U Spooky and AC-130W Stinger II variants for close air support, air interdiction, and force protection, with the upgraded AC-130J Ghost Rider entering service. Close air support roles include supporting ground troops, escorting convoys, and urban operations. Air interdiction missions are conducted against planned targets and targets of opportunity. Force protection missions include defending air bases and other facilities. AC-130S are based at Hurlburt Field, Florida, while AC-130WS are based at Cannon AFB, New Mexico. Gunships can be deployed worldwide. The squadrons are part of the Air Force Special Operations Command (AFSOC), a component of the United States Special Operations Command. The AC-130 has an unpressurized cabin, with the weapon remounted to fire from the port side of the fuselage. During an attack, the gunship performs a pylon turn, flying in a large circle around the target, therefore being able to fire at it for far longer than in a conventional strafing attack. The AC-130H Spectre was armed with two 20mm M61 Vulcan cannons, one L60 Bofors 40mm cannon, an M137 105mm cannon and M37 recoil mechanism from the M102 howitzer. After 1994, the 20mm cannons were removed. The upgraded AC-130U Spooky has a single 25mm GAU-12 equalizer cannon in place of the Spectre's two 20mm cannons, an improved fire control system, and increased ammunition capacity. The new AC-130J was based on the MC-130J Commando II Special Operations Tanker. The AC-130W Stinger II is a modified C-130H with upgrades including a precision strike package. Who shoots the guns on an AC-130? Today, AC-130 weapons fire and targeting is done primarily at the hand of the combat systems officers sitting in the back of the aircraft at a control station that feeds them critical data from the aircraft's sensors and weapons. From the beginning, the C-130 has featured a large, unobstructed, fully pressurized cargo hold that can rapidly be reconfigured for the carriage of troops, stretchers, passengers or airdrops of troops and or equipment into battle zones. The gunship's AC identifier stands for attack cargo. 
The aircraft is powered by four turboprop engines and has a flight speed of 300 miles per hour and a flight range of 1,300 miles, depending on weight. The AC-130 gunship's primary missions are close air support, air interdiction, and force protection. The AC-130H Spectre and the AC-130U Spooky primary missions are close air support, air interdiction, and armed reconnaissance. Close air support missions include troops in contact, convoy escort, and point air defense. Air interdiction missions are conducted against pre-planned targets or targets of opportunity and include strike coordination and reconnaissance and armed overwatch mission sets. These heavily armed aircraft incorporate side-firing weapons integrated with sophisticated sensor, navigation and fire control systems to provide surgical firepower or area saturation during extended loiter periods, at night and in adverse weather. The sensor suite consists of a television sensor, infrared sensor, and radar. These sensors allow the gunship to visually or electronically identify friendly ground forces and targets. The AC-130 is armed with a fearsome array of weaponry, including a 105mm cannon and 25 or 40mm Gatling guns. The AC-130U employs a synthetic aperture strike radar for long-range and adverse weather target detection and identification. The AC-130's navigational devices include inertial navigation systems and global positioning systems. Both of the AC-130s employ the latest technologies and can attack two targets simultaneously.